This video is for Excel homework 9.2 CD. In this problem, you will determine the rate of return on the given deposit and calculate the value of the CD after one year. This is one of the shortest, I mean, this is the shortest Excel homework that we'll do in this semester. And it's short, but um, we will be using the Excel function, uh, the, the, the function if function for the first time. So it's good. We're learning about a new function called if function. Um, so start Excel, download and open the workbook named Chapter 10 for CD Start. Uh, we're doing more logical tests in Chapter 10, but um, I thought this will be a good assignment for this week since we will be talking about um, understanding bonds, understanding certificate of deposit. Um, section 9.2 is about securities, uh, cash, stock, mutual funds, and bonds. So since we're talking about that today, um, for Monday's lesson, I thought, why not? Let's do this very short Excel homework. Um, I made the slides too. If you want to watch this sh about 10 minute video on if function in Excel, it's not really about this assignment, but it, I think this is a, they go over a very great example of if function. And some of you told me that they enjoy the extrapolation, interpolation, a quick video that I found. So I, I thought this will be a, a nice little video to share with you if you want to watch more about the if function. But let's go through this um, very short Excel homework together um, to learn about if function. In cell C8, use the if function to determine the rate of return based on the deposit in cell C7. Format cell C8 as percentage at one decimal place. Now, what are they talking about? Let's go and read. Um, let's read the part in the orange box first together. This is what's happening. I don't have a CD. Maybe I should go to bank and start one, huh? Your bank is offering a one-year certificate of deposit at 1.5% for investments under $5,000. So this is what's happening. If you have some money, but that's less than $5,000, and you go to the bank, they're going to give you 1.5% for investment. Well, that's the, the, the rate of return. But look at the second sentence. If you invest $5,000 or more, if you invest more money, um, um, with them, then they're going to offer you slightly higher rate of return, 2.2%. So um, if you have money, well, we can go to the bank and get this, you know, this nice deal, um, something called certificate of deposit we're going to talk more about in 9.2. Um, but we, we, we understand it, right? Um, if the investment is, say, $2,000, then your rate of return will be 1.5%. If your investment is, let's say, $8,000, then your rate of return will be, because 8000 is more than 5000 then they're going to offer you 2.2%. So we have two options, either 1.5% or 2.2%. And that all depends on the amount of money that you deposit. You deposit. So let's take a look. Um, C8. So this is the box where we're going to have to give them either 1.5% or 2.2%, right? Um, if you take a look at the box right above it, what is the amount deposited? The amount deposited is $7,500. Now, notice this amount is greater than $5,000. So what I want later, if I use the if function right, I want this sale to say 2.2%. Because if this person is depositing more than $5,000, more than or equal to $5,000, then the rate of return should be 2.2%. So let's use the if function um, to make that 2.2% show up. Okay, so start by typing the equal sign and then write if. Okay, um, click on the function if. And what they do is they give you what they want you to type in for this function to work right. The first thing they're gonna ask you is, hey, what's the logical test that you want us to do? The test that I want them to do is this. I want them to test if the amount in C7 is less than 5,000, okay? So that's the logical test. If C7 is less than 5,000, I want them to spit out the value 1.5%. So the, after a comma, you notice how I typed in C7 is less than 5,000, and then I put a comma there? The second entry, second and uh, the value is the value that I want this if, uh, if function to return if the logical test is true. If the value in C7 is less than 5,000, I want them to give us 1.5%. And then put another th uh, this second comma. If the value is false. 
If the amount in C seven is not less than five thousand, in other words, is equal to five thousand or greater than five thousand, I want them to give us what rate? Two point two percent, right? So that's it. Close the parenthesis, and if you hit enter, what will happen? Um, did the sale in C seven was it the the amount in C seven less than five thousand? No, right? It wasn't less than five thousand. So they should give us this if function will give us two point two back. If I hit enter, I will see 0 0.022. I'm going to format this as percentage with one decimal place, and that's how it works. Now, take a look. What if I change this number to a number? Um, I'm about to change the number in C7 to something smaller than 5,000. What if I type in 4,999? The rate of return should go down to what number? 1.5%, and it does. Um, but if it's up to or equal to 5,000, it should go right back up to what number? 2.2%. Now, let me just go back to the original number, 7,500. But that's how we use the if function. Uh, first, we give them the logical test. Next, we give them the number that they want us to, want, want, you know, we want them to say if that logical test is true. The third entry is what if the first logical test comes out false? Then we have to tell them, um, um, that we want it to say what well, two point two percent there. Um, we'll do the if function one more time, but that was the first example, um, and that's how I got the rate of return to be two point two percent for seven thousand and five hundred dollars. Now it says what's the value after one year. We can do that. Um, let's see. So we were done with step two using the if function, and step three they said in cell C nine calculate the value of the CD after one year if the rate of return is in cell C eight. Uh, format as currency with two decimal places. All right, we know how to do this. Now remember the value after one year. That's that's gotta be more than seven thousand and five hundred dollars, right? Because that's the amount they invested. Uh, the original invest. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say equal sign C seven plus. What am I adding? I'm adding the interest. We made some money by letting the bank borrow or you know keep our money for one year. And that interest is simply going to be the principal times the rate of return. So take a look. Um, we can write this slightly differently. Uh, but the, the parenthesis, what I got in this parenthesis, C7 times C8 is going to give us 2.2% of $7,500. And that's what we call interest right now if i hit enter i'm gonna get that the value after one year is seven thousand six hundred and sixty five dollars so just out of curiosity how much money did we just made by waiting one year keeping that money with that bank for one year we made 165 dollars okay all righty so that's it i mean this one wasn't any if function but it was a good review of um percentage i guess because there is a problem on um this week's quiz guys um because we're gonna start talking about final exam review problems and one of the problem goes like this susan makes this much money this year but next year she's going to get five percent raise now that one maybe we should well for that one uh what you may want to do is sue i don't think i should talk about that one in this video right now but anyways that's going to be very similar to uh what we just did over here uh but let me finish this and i can talk about the final exam review problems in another video all right number four in cell c15 oh let's use if function one more time if function to calculate the value of c of the cd after one year based on the deposit in cell c7 Format as currency with two decimal places. Do not use the answer from step two and three in your calculation. So we're not allowed to use these two cells. Hmm, okay. But we're just allowed to use C7. And what they want us to do is how much money are we going to have based on the amount deposited after one year, right? So let's try that together. So equal sign. What's the function they want you to use? If. Type in IF. And let's see. If the value that we invest, C7, is less than 5,000, you understand the logical test, right? How much money are we going to have at the end of, um, after one year? Now, remember, if you invest less than $5,000, what was the rate of return? Then we're going to give us 1.5%, right? Now, this is what I'm going to do, okay? Um, if you get 1.5% of the original amount 
deposited, um, we're going to add that interest to the amount deposited, right? See if this makes sense, because I think we did something like this in our math lesson uh, one year, uh, one, one week. Um, click on the amount deposited. What we're going to multiply that by is 101.5%. Guess where I got that 101.5% from? Because what I did was, this is really 100 plus 1.5%. Okay, so if the amount is less than five thousand, we're gonna end up with one hundred and one point five percent money of of what we started from. Now, if the amount that we deposited is greater than or equal to five thousand, we're gonna have the original amount of hundred percent plus the two point two percent. So what I'm gonna enter is um, C seven times one hundred and two point two percent. And where did I get this 102.2% from? That's simply from doing 100 plus 2.2%. And if I hit enter, now what should be the answer that we get? We better get the same number that we got in C9. We better see $7,665. If we don't, then something went wrong. Let me hit enter. Ta-da, that looks great. Let me just format this as what currency with two decimal places. So we use if function twice. Not only that we used if function, but we actually reviewed uh, how we work with these percent changes that we talked about in section 6.1. So hopefully this video was a good review of that lesson and also a good opportunity for us to explore the if function. Now let's save your file and let's submit this for grading. I saved it. Um, going back to the Excel homework. How quickly does your um, my math lab grade it for you? I don't know if mine's gonna grade it immediately, but I, I wanna just see the result with you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and submit this file right now. Upload, submit for grading. Click on OK. Maybe go back and forth a couple times. Ta-da, 8 out of 8. So, yes, <laughs> yes that's it. So um, I'll be back with the, because we have another Excel homework called um, 401k. Yep, it's all about investment this week, guys. And here's a, I don't know if it's a good news or bad news, but remember we only do 20 Excel homeworks in 154, right? Now, after this week, you're only going to have one left. So we're almost done with the course, really. So I'll come back and let's do 401k together later, all right?